In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Peace be with you. And with, with your spirit. spirit. Brothers and sisters, today is the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception. Our Lady, who was preserved from the stain of sin from the moment of the conception in her own mother's womb. It's also our patronal feast in the United States, and so it's a very special day for us to pray and to seek our mother's intercession. So let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin prepared a worthy dwelling for your Son, grant, we pray, that as you preserved her from every stain by virtue of the death of your Son, which you foresaw, so through her intercession we too may be cleansed and admitted to your presence through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. First reading, a reading from the book of Genesis. After the man, Adam, had eaten of the fruit, the Lord God called to the man and asked, where are you? He answered, I heard you in the garden, but I was afraid because I was naked, so I hid myself. Then he asked, Who told you that you were naked? You have eaten then from the tree of which I have forbidden you to eat. The man replied, The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit from the tree, and so I ate it. The Lord God then asked the woman, Why did you do such a thing? The woman answered, The serpent tricked me into it, and so I ate it. Then the Lord God said to the serpent, Because you have done this, you shall be banned from all the animals and from all the wild creatures. On your belly shall you crawl. And dirt shall you eat all the days of your life. I will put enmity between you and the woman, and between your offspring and theirs. He will strike at your head while you strike at his heel. The man called his wife Eve because she became the mother of all the living. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him. 
his holy arm. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done a marvelous deed. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of the Lord. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done marvelous deeds. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us in Christ with every spiritual blessing in the heavens, as he chose us in turn before the foundation of the world. In the holy in to be holy and without blemish before him. In love he destined us for adoption to himself through Jesus Christ, in accord with the favor of his will, for the praise and glory of his grace, that he granted us to be blessed. In him we were also chosen, destined in accord with the purpose of the one who accomplishes all things according to the intention of his will, so that we might exist in the praise of his glory, we who first hope in Christ, the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give him the throne of his da David, his father. And he will rule over the house of Jacob forever. And of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month for her, who is called barren, for nothing is impossible with God. Mary said, Behold, I am the maid servant of the Lord. 
May it be done unto me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Every time I hear that first reading from the third chapter of Genesis, in fact, I looked over at Monsignor Jerry while that was being proclaimed by Mr. Guillory, and I could see Monsignor Jerry laughing to himself. It's laughable. We are a mess without God. Eve falls prey to the trick of the serpent. Adam doesn't protect her, which is his only job to do. So ladies, don't ever let men say, well, Eve took the apple. Well, Adam's only job was to protect her and to provide for her, which he failed miserably at. But when the Lord asks, did you eat the tree? Did you eat of the forbidden fruit? The woman whom you put here with me, she gave me the fruit. So I ate it. So God, it's really your fault. You put her here, here with me. Why do we need a Redeemer? Because that's all of us. Why do we need a Savior? Because we're all a mess. And Mary is the new Eve. Mary is the new beginning. God prepared a womb for his son to become incarnate become one of us, to save us. But he prepared her heart to say yes. Mary's yes conquers all the no's that preceded it. Conquers the no's even in our own hearts and lives. Let's follow Mary today on this, our patronal feast of the United States, that we may say with her, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done unto me according to your word. May Mary's yes, Jesus' yes, conquer our hearts and our lives for God. Trusting in the Father's care for us, we now bring our prayers and petitions before him today. For our church's prayerful Advent preparation for Christmas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the conversion of the human heart, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the peace of our world, especially in the Middle East and Holy Land, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the unity of all God's people, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the sick, suffering, poor, powerless, and unemployed, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For the defense of all human life and religious liberty, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For vocations to the priesthood and service of the church, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. For those who have been away from the sacraments, that they may come closer to Christ for Christmas, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our catechumens and canonists who journey with us during this sacred season of Advent, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead and the comfort of all who grieve, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our silent intentions, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. 
Father, hear us, your children, as we cry out to you and offer these prayers in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given, and human hands have made it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept this sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Graciously accept the saving sacrifice which we offer you, O Lord, on the solemnity of the Immaculate Conception of the Blessed Virgin Mary and grant that as we profess her on account of your prevenient grace to be touched by any stain of sin, so through her intercession we may be delivered from all our faults through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Let it not to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you preserved the most blessed Virgin Mary from the stain of original sin, so that in her, endowed with the rich fullness of your grace, you might prepare a worthy mother for your son and signify the beginning of the church, his beautiful bride without spot or wrinkle. She, the most pure virgin, was to bring forth a son, the innocent lamb who would wipe away our offenses. You placed her above all others to be for your people an advocate of grace and a model of holiness. And so, in company with the choirs of angels, we praise you as with joy we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, 
the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and me, your unworthy servant, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of your Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, heal in us the wounds of that fault from which in a singular way you preserved Blessed Mary in her immaculate conception. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.